Hello gamers and welcome back to Newcraft, my first ever private SMP experience here on Minecraft 1.19. So last episode, last episode we uh, built ourselves a mini game, parkour snowblock mini game that was way out on a mushroom island and the first of many things we hope to build out there. And we also extended our village. So we built this uh, new building we're standing on right now. This very tall pagoda-like thing. And we built one over here, one over here. And um, yeah, I'm very happy with how all of that is starting to come together. We also built a market stand over here. We have Vinny up there in our existing stand. So we're definitely going to need to find ourselves someone to go in here. And I have an idea. It could be a little tricky to pull off, but I'm going to um, try making a nether portal right here. And seeing where it ends up. And if I'm lucky, I'm going to have to break some of the stand here to make this work. If I am lucky, we can uh, get this appearing somewhere that we're going to be able to do something useful with it based on uh, based on my crazy plans, which we'll reveal shortly. So I'm going to gonna light this guy. I'm going to put a back on it. I'm going to get some dirt. And um, in fact, I've got some moss on me I can use. Uh, put a back on this. So we don't want anything coming out this side. So our new host is going to appear through here, is the plan. So I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to get some gold before I go there. And we're going to see where it takes us. Oh no. Oh no. This is one of my... This is the chunk loader, but this is part of my item transportation system um, on the nether roof. It's linked up to the wrong portal. Damn it. We're going to need a plan B here. Oh, and then I've come out <laughs> inside my base. All right. Yep. We need to take down that portal and try a different approach. I'm going to go get some help as well, I think. Okay, so the new plan is, I think we're just going to head straight to the nether. We're going to see if we can find ourselves a nether fortress. And um, there's a certain type of mob you're going to discover there that I'm going to try and capture and bring back to be our new market stand pedant. I'm going to use Cass's brilliant, useful, massive hole in the nether roof here to uh, make sure we can get down there. Um, Looks kind of safe. And, oh, I forget. It's a Crimson Forest down here. The worst biome of all. Just need to hot foot it out of this biome and go find myself that fortress. I know there's quite a few not too far from spawn here, so just a tiny bit of exploring, I hope, should uh, reveal one to us. Um, let's have a little look over in this direction. Aha! Look, right there fortress. That's what we need. So I'm going to head over there and then I've got a friend helping me who's going to uh, help me capture something from over here and take it back with me. In the meantime, I've got to deal with some of these um, some of these blazes. They're just going to completely get in my way. Alright, it's daytime again, so you're safe when you come out. As long as it doesn't put you in a cave, you know, 300 blocks under the ocean floor. That's exactly what it's done. Where am I? Yeah, level minus 22 in a cave. That is not good. <laughs> I am under the ocean too. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> exactly okay. what you said. Yeah. Not all is lost. Hang on, where are you? Okay, I'm going to head back through, break this portal, and um, try it somewhere else in this fortress. Aha! Target acquired. That's what we're looking for. So, they spawn down there. That's good news. I'm going to make myself another portal up here. And Harlock is on the uh, surface, and we're going to coordinate a little bit and see where this comes out. Go ahead and light the portal your side. And the portal's lit on my side. Go ahead, go ahead and just walk through and make sure this links up. Okay. I'm not someplace totally crazy. 
there you are. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. You'll get stuck here, right? I was trying to get in the. Yeah, he should not be able to get through here at all. Yeah. And once he comes through, you'll you'll want something to stop him. Okay, let's so, see. So um, I've got tracks too in here. I just got to figure out which one of these has tags. I don't use them very often. Well, he'll be, if he's in the rail car, he won't be able to go anywhere either, right? He won't despawn. So. Correct. Come on, dudes. Here he comes. Okay, he's on me. Right. Target acquired, huh? <laughs> Indeed, target acquired. Come on, dude, get up those stairs. Oh, no. He's named. Oh, there's two of them. That's okay. They're coming through. One of them's named. Alright. Alright. Aha! <laughs> he doesn't look happy. <laughs> no, he, he is not happy. Okay, so the plan here, we need two people because we need to get him across an ocean and um, Harlock is going to make sure that our skelly friend here is focused on him, aggroed on him, and not me, so we can get him in a boat and I can ride with him the whole way, uh, in theory, safely. So let's see how that goes. Take it, he's not attacking you. Boom. Nope, he was going off to you, so if I get in here... Okay. Now, I am the world's worst boater, so we gotta go slow. It's alright. Yeah, you lead. Put me on the map. Okay. I'm gonna go fairly slow. If I get too far away... Oh, you're good. You're good. the village. Now we need to park him up somewhere down here. So how are you going to get him up? Uh, I'm just going to build a railway, I think. All the way down here. I'm going to block out a little um, land bridge just going up there to the top of the hill. And um, then I can just, it's not too far from there to so just zip him okay. just straight up here. And then I can get him straight into his uh, market stall pretty quickly. Okay, if if you've got to go, I'm going to go ahead and head back and pick up all of the stuff that we left there and then come back. Oh, okay. That's very kind. Thank you. All right, thanks for your help, Harlock. That was brilliant. <laughs> no problem. Anytime. All right, man. It's better to catch you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. You too. Enjoy the fireworks. So... We're over at the market stand, and we've got the rails in, ready to transport our man across town. Got a railway line coming all the way across, and down it goes. Powered to get all the way up the big hill here. So we've just got to break him out of his boat and um, get him into a cart. And then we can send him on his way. But there's one little thing I wanted to try doing before we do that while he's standing still. And that is to use a little head here. I wanted to see... Uh, this is actually a, a discount token from Supper, and um, yeah, he... I won this somewhere, I can't remember where, probably from one of his games, and I'm hoping this is going to work. Yeah! <laughs> We're also going to get this guy a new name, but uh, that was step number one. And I actually want to figure out a nice, easy way to break this boat without damaging him, so I'm going to turn on hitboxes. Just got to really make sure this guy cannot get out of here any other way. So we're going to try and get him to stand in there. And what I'm actually going to do is block this off, so he's got nowhere else to go. I'm going to put a cart 
here. Yeah. And see if that's going to be enough to get them to stand up. So I'm going to bust in from the side, I think. Oh, I can do it from here, of course. Got to be really careful here. Okay. Ah, the boat is broken. Let's see if we can get him to come up here. Hey, man. Come on. Got him. Oh, no. Ooh, that was close. He started taking a little bit of damage there. Excellent. It's now in position. Okay, it's there. And then we need power drills to go there. We should be in a good position to just send him the entire way. So let's use one of these buttons. Do this. And... Boom. There he goes. Woohoo! Look at him go. Come on, my friend. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Right, before I do anything else, I'm going to tear up the rest of this. This is probably the worst way to do it. Uh, I'm going to get my hoe. It's going to be much easier to just do this, isn't it? Yes. Okay, railway has been removed, all tidied up. It's got two small tasks left to do. One is to get rid of the name Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> Apparently, Harlock's uh, bulk name for name tags for his bartering farm. Wilbur. Wilbur the Wither Skeleton. Now, uh, Wilbur should not be able to escape from here, I would hope. So, we've just got to yoink. And there he goes. Hey, Wilbur. Hey. Let's turn off those hitboxes now. Look at that. Oh, you are very grand looking there. That head suits that body perfectly. <laughs> okay. Nice. And you can't get out this way, right? No, 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 no. You can't. Love it. I absolutely love that... Uh, that trick, I think that minecart is a goner. <laughs> we'll just leave that in there and um, we'll call that an absolute success. Thanks, Wilbur. Now we have two very fantastic market store attendants in two ends of the village Wilbur and Vinny. Hey, Vinny. <laughs> yes, you've got a friend. Now you go trade with him whenever you want, okay? Good. Oh boy, I went to uh, AFK at the Moss Farm here, which I've just turned off for a little bit too long. And um, clearly, I've run out of shulker boxes. Look at how much stuff is flowing through here. My goodness, let's see if we can pick it all up. <laughs> That's crazy. There's a lot of extra stuff. I can't even hold it all in my inventory. But I bet... Yep, these are all pretty stacked. Um, in fact, let's do this. Take some shulkers out of here. Put some in here. Collect some of that remaining moss. There's two in here still. Okay. Okay, so these last ones were working. It's just the uh, front loaded ones. So let's do that and that. See if we can capture some of that moss before it all despawns. Phew, that was salvaged. Um, hopefully we've collected a fair few extra shulkers here. Pretty good. And we've had a few left over. That's good to know uh, that we didn't end up losing too much moss there. Now we have even more of a supply to continue the mossification of the valley. And so all that moss creation has been paying off. We have pretty much mossified the whole damn valley. And it is looking glorious. Let's go into free camera here. We can look around a little bit. Back up. Look at all that moss. It's 
isn't it glorious um i might i'm gonna do this side of the stream as well i think just over here i kind of stopped there and, and treated the path as a boundary before but i think i'm going to continue to this side of the stream and do all of this i kind of put a stop to it as i went up the hill here around the outside and then yeah i did everything all the way up to here so we've got lots and lots of moss all the way up to my base so that's the sort of bounding area where i stopped um yeah it's fabulous and it really makes the two sides of the river look different like they're different biomes and that's kind of what i was going for that this is a different civilization in a different area and now the colors of all those buildings pop so much and i really like i really like the savanna grass on the moss a bit of bone milling to do in a few places still just to make it feel a little bit more alive but uh yeah i couldn't be happier with how this all turned out such such an improvement totally worth it i would say in the long run wouldn't you agree wilbur yeah wilbur's he's a bit of a quiet one he's not as chatty as Vinny, but uh he does a good job so the next mission i want to go on for this episode is uh to do with an existing farm that we already have out here on the nether roof so we are going to head off in uh, i think it's over this way must be should load in any second if it is yes here we go our gold farm we haven't been out here in ages. I think the last time I used this was to get all of the gold that I wanted for my mega base build, because I used quite a bit of gold in it. We haven't really used it for anything else. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's a pretty efficient farm. Like, it generates a very, very large amount of gold. All the piglins fall down there. Usual deal. Fall to their death. Just smash and... Um, yeah, you collect the gold nuggets and great you can make gold with that that's fine and you can use that for building but having gold in this game the main reason to do so is uh, to be able to barter the gold with piglins now if this is all working correctly yeah we should have a gold filter rock flesh filter rock flesh is all getting burned gold is all going down into storage and we created a whole lot of storage for this thing uh, just in order to collect all the nuggets but what I want to do instead is um, I've got an idea to put a bartering farm in the same place what biome are we in nether wastes I think that's exactly what we need that's what we need for the, the piglins to spawn up here and it's exactly what we're going to need to get some this is zombified piglins but to get actual piglin piglins um, we're going to need a to get some spawning up here so we can put them into our very own piglin bartering farm which I plan to attach somehow to the bottom of this guy so I was thinking I'll chop off this layer beneath us here get rid of all these excess chests and we're gonna need a way to craft the gold nuggets into gold ingots and then spit those directly into a bartering farm at the same time so the idea being that we um how much gold have we got here some hoppers left over from the last fix i did to this place yep uh the idea being that we would afk underneath it somewhere around here at a crafting station just crafting nuggets into ingots and spitting the ingots directly into a piglin barring system and getting all of the output from that simultaneously that's the plan at least See, usually when I'm down here, the spawns aren't as good because a lot of the nether below is loaded. Yeah, so I may, it's something I may need to do in stages, regardless. We AFK for the gold, we do the crafting station thing and craft it up really quickly and spit the ingots out into a piglin bartering farm all in one place. So, I've got some materials to go and collect, stick this thing together and uh, a bit of dismantling to do before we get going. And then we're going to put sort of three machines together and I'll take you through, once it's all there, how it works. Assuming it does. Let's roll the time lapse.
what is this absolute monstrosity we built above my head here? <laughs> Let's go check it out. Uh, as you mentioned, there's uh, several different things going on. We've got our original gold farm, AFK platform at the very top of the world. Magma layers coming down to the drop zone. Nothing's really changed there. These guys come into here. I um, got a filters going on for gold and the wrong flesh. That does its thing, fills up the storage just as did before. Uh, we had twice the amount of storage previously, so I chopped it in half. What I've put immediately underneath the storage are shulker box loaders. So, oh, there's no shulker box there. That's worrying. That's all backed up. Oh, there. What's going on? I may need to look at that. But these shulker box loaders, they should, when working, uh, be filling the gold up with shulker boxes. Those, in turn, these are just shulker storage chests sticking out the side here. So empty shulkers there. And then uh, the output from here, when the shulker box gets broken, it gets put into this line of hoppers underneath me here. And these go into a crafting station. So this is just a test I did. I broke a shulker before it was fully empty, just to see it funnel on down. But um, do we have any more in here? Yeah, we've got one full shulker there. Oh, crikey. And uh, I'll come to that in a minute. <laughs> but that guy who shot me, we're going to want to keep. Where did he come from? He's right underneath us. Look. Hello, sir. I'll come get you in just a second, but I want to make sure you don't despawn. And I'll get back to where I was so I can continue my explanation. I was up here. So this is actually, <laughs> ouch, a crafting station. So the idea being, uh, you take your items from here, you have a free inventory, so you put all your stuff in a chest somewhere, um, and uh, you take all the items from here, you craft them into uh, gold ingots, and then you put them in here. When this gets full, this would break and go if we wanted to put them in there. But what we're going to do instead of having shulkers of uh, gold nuggets, that's just if we want to put them in storage and we can store shulkers of gold nuggets in there when they get full. Alternatively, I put in a second chest here. So if I'm crafting away and then I put the other items in this chest, what that's actually going to do is put the gold ingots directly into the bartering farm, which is below. And I've, I've made a temporary mess of this uh, because I'm trying to populate it with dudes, uh, with piglins. As you just saw there, that guy who I just name tagged, I'm going to get him in a cart. This platform is specifically here to allow them to spawn. Let me show that in action. So I have a spawning platform up here, or a AFK platform I stand on, look for them spawning. When they do spawn, I'm going to swoop on down and name tag those guys. Ah, and uh, get them in a cart, which in turn allows me to drop them in here. I think I've got three currently in here, so I need to get, I forget the number, I need to go look it up, 26, 27, something like that. Lots and lots and lots of them. They're all called Bart, for the bartering farm. And yeah, I'd bring them in here, block this off, break that, and get them to chase me over to here, and in they go. Uh, into the bartering farm compartment, and this is standard Logical Geek Boy Bartering Farm design. I've built these before. I built one of these in my single player world. Yeah, so the Logical Geek Boy design and that you put all your gold in here, which is where we're going to funnel it, and that all ends up into these droppers. And when you turn on a timer at the back there, there are three droppers that equally spit out a number of uh, rounds of gold bars into this chamber where these guys are going to live. They drop everything and uh, takes a very specific amount of time. And then there's a piston, sticky piston bolt here that takes the items, aligns them against the chest so that they are half on the ice, half on the hoppers, and shoots them across here. And we have a whole bunch of item filters in place to pick up the various drops. I still need to label all of this, but I've got most of the filters in already. And there's a little bit of extra stuff at the end here that's going to help us uh, filter out potions and books and everything. Uh, anything else that doesn't get picked up is going to get burned in the fire at the end there. Uh, so we'll stick with the defaults for now, and then we can adjust what we need and what we want to focus on collecting over time. But once all that's in place, I'll show you the uh, 
outputs and the various types of drops that we're going to be focusing on getting from that guy. In the meantime, uh, let me get up here and we're going to go get that guy in the farm, I think. It's going to be the next thing to do. Okay, to be honest, I kind of lost count. Um, I'm having trouble getting a clear entity reading here. It says 26. I don't know what it's actually counting. But um, the last two I dropped in here died immediately. So I'm guessing that means that they um, are hitting the entity cramming limit, I assume. So I've done a bit of tidying up around here. I um, also did some AFK time. And we have ourselves some gold nuggies. We have 9, 14, 15, 16 shulkers, so that's all working nicely. And um, we're going to craft this up. I've also done a little bit of labeling here. I ran the initial batch I did and put in the filters, and now we have like labeled chests going all the way down for all the items we're going to get. and filters properly set up across the top here so it should be in a good place to turn on the timer for the bartering farm and uh, there's probably some gold in there already let's see those guys yep there we go there go the items and we can continue to top it up by popping in here oh I'm gonna empty my inventory into here first we're just gonna take a shulker of that at once. Boom. 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 Three stacks, put them in there. Straight into the bartering farm. And repeat. Shulkers, 18, 19, 20, 21 shulkers of golden nuggets in total. We've turned into bars, which are still filtering through there, and we'll leave that to run its course. And once it's all been bartered, we shall uh, see what we get out of it in the end. Alright, so this thing's been running for a little while, and looks like we're no longer getting items out of the farm. Yep, we've definitely run out of gold, so we can turn that off. And let's go check out what we got. So as a reminder, we put in about 20, 24 shulkers of uh, gold nuggets, which will equate to about two and a half shulkers of gold ingots. And ooh, quite a bit of blackstone, gravel, excellent. Spectral arrows, similar amounts, quartz, Pretty good. Nine nuggets, yeah, I may not bother with those. Soul sands, nether bricks, pearls, don't really worry about. String, fire charge, crying obsidian, obsidian, leather, potions, fills up pretty quick. And then soul speed stuff, and we end up with a load of extra potions and bits over here. So a bit of clearing out to do there, but that's pretty good for a first run from a small AFK session. and. Uh, then an extended bartering session. Love it. This is definitely worth doing. Very happy with the output. So I think we'll leave that episode here. An awful lot achieved today. This a monumental farm needs a bit more AFK time to fill up this enormous wall of chests. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Get some more gold, trade some more ingots, get some more materials. So all that's left to do is to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give us a like. And if you'd like to see more we get up to here on the server, then please subscribe. That's the way to stay up to date with what we're getting up to on Newcraft. Back to AFK for me. So everyone take care and we'll see you all next time. Bye for now.